644 right now. New information pouring in daily about the coronavirus, and we know many of you have questions. 11 Alive medical correspondent Dr. Sujatha Reddy joining us live this morning with some answers. As all of us are working from home, we have some little helpers with us at home <laughs> as well. Dr. Reddy is joined by her son, who, who just needs some comforting right now after having a bad dream. Thank you both for joining us. Thank Our first so question right now is from Charlie. Are researchers close to finding a treatment for the coronavirus? Will remdesivir be approved? Yeah, and that's the hope we all have, Charlie, and it's a really good question. There are dozens of trials going on right now with several medications, antivirals, something called an IL-6 blocker, which is used for arthritis and for other rheumatological diseases is also being tested. And because the way this virus is acting, and as you said, we're learning more day by day, but remdesivir recently got some really good data that it was um, effective. So I really think in the next month, hopefully a few months, we're gonna have some really good treatment options long before a vaccine. The next question here, Dr. Reddy, my 71 year old sister was released yesterday from a three week stay in nursing rehab facility. Prior to rehab, she was in the hospital for three weeks. We received a call this morning that one of the workers at the nursing facility tested positive for COVID-19. What should we do as we're concerned about visiting her and having workers in? We believe she needs to be tested, but don't believe that she meets the criteria for testing. I, I have a feeling that the facility or the medical staff there will test you know her. Um, obviously being older, you're much more worried. I think what we need to do is find out what she needs to do is find out what the facility's plans are mm -hmm. to isolate the workers, minimize, get a new crew of workers because mm -hmm. now we have to assume that that pa the worker and everyone she's worked with is in potential quarantine. Yeah. So my hope would be that they have new staff for the um, you know, to care for the people now because they should not have any of the staff that was around the positive person. But I have a feeling they will be testing everyone that person came in contact with. Well, this specific question, Dr. Reddy says that the sister was released yesterday from a three week stay. So I know under the new rules, um, people who've been exposed to coronavirus patients are now eligible for testing, right? Yes, you still have to make an appointment and all of that, so they should be able to test her, but she's in another facility now, right? Isn't that what the question said? It I'm says sorry. She was released from a nursing rehab facility, and then prior to that, I know it's a, it's a long question, okay. and prior to that, she was in the hospital for three weeks. Okay. So it so sounds like if, if, if they call the health department or even a doctor that perhaps they could be eligible for testing. Yeah, but more than testing, just observe her very closely, the least bit of any symptoms, but absolutely get tested. But the testing isn't really gonna drive what happens here, but now uh -huh. um, as far as visiting her and stuff, I think that's uh, that's why I thought she was somewhere else because I would not visit her if you haven't seen her to yeah. protect yourself, unfortunately. Yeah, absolutely, okay. Next question, can you get coronavirus back to back in the same week or month? So I think this question is talking about a report out of South Korea from a couple days ago that talked about people testing positive, then negative, and positive again. And the uh, answer to this question, unfortunately, is we just don't know. Yeah. We're learning more and more. With most viruses, as you know, you develop immunity, meaning you get a virus and then you don't get it again. You have antibodies. So that also brings up another question. It's like, when we do a swab from the nose, that's looking to see if there's active virus there. Mm -hmm. The antibody testing is a blood test that looks for the body's immune response to the virus. You've had it, your body makes these antibody cells that attack the virus. But that's what the antibody testing is for. So with most viruses, and we think coronavirus will be like this, the more science says you'll get it and never get it again, or at least not get it for a while. Yeah. But there are viruses like chickenpox that we all hear about that reactivate. So there is some question, is this coronavirus going to act like that? The other problem with this study is we don't know what kind of tests were done in South Korea, the accuracy. We don't have that information yet. But I think it's unlikely that you will get this virus more than once in, in a short okay. time. Okay. I think this is a weird situation we're seeing in South Korea. But it's very hard to know because everything is changing. Yeah. Okay. All right, Dr. Reddy, thank you so much for joining us. We know you're juggling a lot, so we appreciate your time. Give your son a big hug for us, please. Thanks, Eva. All right, it is 649 right now. Let's turn it over to Crash, who is following